Hey guys, look now you're back at it again with another video. So today we're gonna do something a little different. I got a PlayStation Vita here, like it's brand new, and I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to ruin this thing because this is brand new and I got it from Japan. I don't know if you can see, but it's a Glacier White model, and we got some accessories here too. So today we're gonna be unboxing this and all these accessories. So first off, let's just do these accessories so we can get these things out of the way. So over here we got a SD2 Vita. It's a a game card where you can put an SD card in. This is so I can jailbreak it after because I'm going to jailbreak my Vita. Over here, we got a SanDisk 256 gigabyte micro SD card right here. And then let's open this up real quick. So it has the adapter too, and this is what you need to put in there. So I have this thing so I can put games on my Vita for free and stuff. Because games are really expensive and they close the PlayStation Vita store. I don't know how to open this thing though. So. I think it just pops out like this. Yep. And here we have the micro SD card. This is the thing we're going to need here. So I'll put this on top of this. Next thing that we got is a case for the Vita. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. So we got this case right here. It's a carrying case I have, and it comes with a screen protector. So here is the case, and it comes with the screen protector stuff. So I will be installing all this on after for the Vita, and we can just put this here on the side. And this is just a little crystal case for the Vita, because I'm trying to preserve this thing and this thing so I can see it and it looks cool. So over here is the PlayStation Vita. It's in bubble wrap, and I got this from Japan. Uh, through eBay so let's open this thing. I'm gonna be pretty careful when opening I'm just gonna make a clear hole here so let's put this out of the way as you can see it is brand new it has the whole factory wrap and everything on it as you can see it is written in Japan or it has Japanese written all over it and it's a really nice looking box on this side, we have it where it says PlayStation Vita right here. And this is the 2000 model. They have an OLED model right here, but the OLED model, they discontinued it for this one. And this is the better model in the long term because of the new USB port they put on this thing and everything. So this is what it looks like all around. So next, let's open it up. So I'll be taking this part out here. I think I need scissors. I'm gonna be pretty careful because I don't want to ruin the box. Because boxes for these are going almost fifty to a hundred dollars just alone for the box. So let's open this up carefully. This seems kind of hard to open too. Let's just rip it off a little bit. And there we go. So here is the box with all the plastic off. You can see this thing is just a remote play thing. And PS Vita's are region free. That's why I wanted to get a PlayStation Vita. So over here, you have the tab to open it. So let's open the tab. Let's put this here. Put this over here, we get in like some stuff in Japanese or says welcome to PlayStation. So I won't be opening this thing cause I don't need anything out of it. Plus I already know how to use the Vita and stuff. Over here we do have a charging cable, which I will probably need, but I'll see if I want to open these things too. Cause I also have other micro USB stuff. So here is your main cable. This thing plugs into the Vita as you can see with a micro USB. Over here we have the wall plug one. And we have the brick over here for the Vita. And this one is also written in Japanese. This one I can take out cause it's in that type of bag. But as you can see, here is the wall plug. And it has a nice PlayStation logo and it says Sony right here. So I'm gonna put this thing back in the bag cause I don't plan on using any of these chargers at all. Over here, we have the PlayStation Vita. So I never had a Vita, so this is gonna be the first time of me having one. So yeah, so let's take this out carefully. Let's 
kind of hard to take out. And here we go. This thing is really nice. It has a little bit of dust on it. No, it doesn't. It's just my gloves, actually. As you can see, it looks really cool, and it's pretty nice. The buttons feel good. I don't know if you can hear them. There's two joysticks here, and this is a start and select, so... What I'm gonna do before I even turn this on is I'm gonna put the case and stuff on this thing because I don't want even want to turn this thing on without even protecting it. So I will come back when everything is on this. All right, guys. So I have everything put on, even the screen protectors. You can sort of tell if you really look at it, but not really. Now it's all protected. There's even a screen protector in the back right here. There's some bubbles here I do have to get out, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, this is what it looks like though. It looks really nice with this case on and it looks really protected So let's turn this thing on for the first time But before I turn it on I'll show you what's around it over here We have a micro USB port and aux cable for your headphones or an aux port over here We do have a port for the expandable data for your PS Vita and the memory cards are really expensive That's why I got an SD2 Vita right here on the top right here, we have the game cartridge slot, which is where the SD2 Vita will go. And it's sort of hard to take out with gloves. Over here is your memory slot, and you have a screw thing right here. And then you have a power button, your indicators, and your volume up and down. Right here, you have your triggers, which are pretty nice. And you have your D-pad, your X, circle, square, triangle, and your two thumbsticks right here. And your PlayStation button. You have two speakers right here. And then your camera's right here. And then here's your start and select. So let's turn this on now. If there is any battery. And the thing is dead. It needs to get charged real quick. So let me plug this into the charger and I can then start it up for you guys. All right, so before I plug it in, I will be using these actual chargers. So I'll just open these up because you guys probably have wanted to see me open this up. So let's take this out. So here is this charger and this is the micro USB one. And this is where the Vita will be plugged into. As you can see, this is how it is. It's a pretty decently sized cable alone and you can just use it like this. Over here is where you will plug it in. So it goes all the way in right here. And then this part will plug into the Vita right here. So let's plug this thing in real quick. And it does fit in with the case, which is a good thing. Over here, we have the other one right here. And this is the one where it plugs into your wall outlet. So let's cut this open real quick. And here we have the actual charging one for the wall it's just one of these regular things that you would plug into like a wall brick thingy so if you lose it you probably can get just get it off amazon or something and then all together it looks like this so let me plug it into my desk real quick and then let's see if it turns on now while this thing is charging i'll be showing you some stuff about it over here i have a ps5 controller because i thought these two look similar that's one of the reasons why i got the glacier white if you look closely it's sort of the same color scheme that's going around and that's one of the reasons why i got the glacier white these are the same white i'm pretty sure as this one and it does look a little different because of the case and this one doesn't have a case over here and then right here i do have a ds so let's put the scissors to the side and here is my 2ds xl as you can see, they are almost the same size, but the Vita is a little bit bigger than the DS. And then when it's opened up, the DS will obviously be bigger because of its two screens. And yeah, this is what it looks like. But they are pretty much the same height, I would say. Maybe the Vita is... Actually, they are the same height because of the hinge. So yeah, that's basically it for this thing. They have the basically the, almost the same size and this one is pretty pocketable with the case on it's like really protected and it protects the analog sticks even more And over here we have the SC2 Vita thing which I will set up in a video Or probably I'll just do it alone and I will jailbreak it and I'll give you another tour of this thing like I did with my switch So over here is where your SD card will go and then This one right here. We have to take it out right here and then we can just plug this thing in right this i'm pretty sure this is one of these same game cartridge things like ds uses 
but it's a different one because of obviously it's for playstation now over here you have your charging indicator i'm pretty sure and this is your power on one and i just plugged this in so i don't know if it's just gonna turn on and this thing took 22 days to come and it does turn on so let's get this thing started all right so this is a setup real quick so let's set this thing up so let's put the language to english don't put the thing here let's put the time to u.s time Hmm. I'm trying to find the time. There's so many time zones. I think we are in Pacific time. Yeah. Oh, we doing this? And I forgot. Circle and X are switched. So to go next, it is circle, as you can see. And then the date is. I'm not sure what the date is. I know it is 2022. So you can put this here. And let's put this one. So let me go and go on my computer and see the date and time because I don't know what it is. So the date is the 23rd. So let's put this one and it's the 3rd of March and it's the 23rd. Let's put this to this. And the time is 10.01. So I'm gonna set it to 10.02. And then I'll select next once it hits 10.02. But it does play some music when you're setting it up, which is pretty cool. Speakers are pretty good. And this is on max volume. So, yeah. I think this thing's pretty cool, not gonna lie. But I'm waiting for it to get 10.02 so I can have a perfect time. Because I don't even want it to be off by a minute. Because I will be using this thing a lot, so... Yeah. Let's... But I like the back though, for the case. It covers up these things, and people say these things get dirty. And this is your touchpad in the back. And you have a camera in the back, which I forgot to mention. And yeah, so now it is 10.02, so it's selected. I think I gotta use this. Let's put this to 0.02 and 10. And you can do this, and next. So I'm gonna sign in with my PlayStation account. And I do have one. And if you have a PlayStation account, you can put it on your Vita and still be able to jailbreak it. So I'm going to do this rest of the setup with my account and Wi-Fi and I'll go back to you on the main page. Alright, so I finished setting it up and I had to just put my Wi-Fi in and my account. That's really all I had to do. So here's a little video it's going to show you real quick. I don't think you can skip this. These people said you couldn't skip it. That's it for the video. I tried exiting out of by pressing the PlayStation button, but you can't. And the screen is not that bad at all. I think it's pretty good. It's way better than the DS screen though. So that's that. So let's go through this thing. Over here, we do have the PS3 remote play, which is strange. It should be PS4, but it's all right. We got to probably update this thing. We have the PlayStation store real quick. So let's see what this is. And over the top, I like the charging symbol. It's like a little lightning thing going through it. Sort of hard to see. There you go. Over here, the place to start is closed, so there's really nothing you can do over here. 
and I keep forgetting circle is select and X is that. So I'm gonna just cancel it real quick so I can go through the menu. And I gotta sign in one more time for this. This thing's so confusing with the X and circle switch. Okay, this is canceled. We can X out of this. So I'm pretty sure we press the home button and then we can just swipe this away to get out of it. Like paper, which is pretty cool. Oh, we have a content manager and we have the camera. So let's see what the camera is real quick. So let's take a picture of the front and rear camera. We can press OK and yes. Over here is our back camera. You can see how kind of bad. So let me take a picture real quick. And I will be putting this in the video so you guys can see it. And let's take one of the front camera. I think this is how we switch it. And there we go. So that's really it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. But here you go. Here's how it looks. It's like a phone type thing. How you swipe and stuff. That's the camera. And then you have a calendar. Music. You can play music off this thing. Videos. You have your trophies, your friends, messages, party, parental controls, welcome pack and everything. You have your web browser, which is pretty cool. And then I don't know where the settings would be, but I think we got to just keep swiping or this is maybe it. These are your notifications actually. And I don't know how to access the settings on this. Oh, here it is. So let's start this thing. This is your setting. It's like a PlayStation 4 menu, sort of. So I'm gonna update this thing and we can see what else we get once this thing has been updated. And I actually plug this thing into my computer and we can start jailbreaking this later. But I also got to sign into PlayStation Network as you can see. So yeah, let me just do this thing real quick. All right guys, so I'll be showing you how the remote play works now and it's a few days later now. So you will see the Vita looks a little different cause I did just jailbreak it. And I added a bunch of custom like software, some games, some emulators, and there's a whole new theme on it now. So I will be making a video of that too, showing what is on my modded PS Vita. But this is what the homes page looks like. It's supposed to be like a PS5 theme because this whole thing reminds me of the PS5. You can even hear the theme a little bit, but I'm gonna just lower this a bit. And I have everything all organized the way I want. And PS4 remote play should be here. So let me just click it. With a touch screen and with the screen protector on it, it's sort of harder to like press with it, but it's all right. And it's just searching, but it turned on my PS4. I don't know if you heard the little beep in the back, but it's still pretty fun little thing right here because i was using this at a friend's house and i was playing my ps4 games on this thing it sucks that you can't do ps5 remote play even though it is possible with this thing but it takes so much time to do and i might do it but i want to play a lot of my ps4 games on the go because that's where i have my main library and all my storage on i still have to get storage for my ps5 as you can see here is my ps4 as you can see everything works like it should this that these are your main triggers a lot of people think the back are your main triggers two of the bottom triggers are even optional you, those are things if you want to add like triggers so like in scuff controllers you have the two triggers on the thumb grip these are sort of like the scuff thumb grip things your main ones are going to be this one and this one and then this touchpad right here and this i don't know if it shows but whenever i go in a game it'll show the touchpad signal and a game that i was using that shows the touchpad decently with need for speed rivals and then now x works as it should and i'm not trying to update my ps4 yet because i want to jailbreak it so i can play a library of ps vita games that's jailbroken and i can play all my ps4 games that are jailbroken so it'll be pretty cool but remote play works really good all you need is a good wi-fi connection at this place which i do have and these are running on different wi-fi networks too as you can see now you can see that thing so when i touch up here, you'll see the pad thing right there. I press this, that, there, and there. Like, it could show everything. As you can see, I'm moving my finger and it tracks that. And then when you wanna press the home button, you press this and then you have to go here. The weird thing is when I try pressing X, it doesn't do anything. You have to press O, cause in Japan, O and X are flipped. Like I probably said that earlier too. And now it's just doing its quick little video thing. I still have to, 
complete this game. And yeah, I was trying this on my other account. So I'm on my alt account on my PS4. And if you try going on PS5 or more playing on a PS Vita from a PS4, it won't work. As you can see, let's load it up real quick. And as you can see, we're gonna see find your PS5 and cannot start connection. Someone is using remote player right now. We're gonna press OK and we're gonna just go back. And yeah, this is pretty much it. And for the long press PlayStation button, you just long press this and it does everything you want. So I'm gonna put this thing back on rest mode. And there we go. And then you have to, uh, I think, double tap it or something else. I'm not sure. And that's basically it. In another video, I'll show you what I have on this thing. There's a few emulators. I got these things working. There's Discord and stuff. And I'll show you what's on it. There's a lot of games I have and everything. And the free shop is working on this thing. This thing can turn into a PSP too. Have all the noise and everything. But sometimes it glitches out like that. Which you do have to do a little bit of configuration if you don't want it to, but it's pretty rare for it to glitch out. And as you can see, it works. It's called Adrenaline, by the way. And it can turn back into a PSP. And I do have PSP games, and the PSP games download from the free shop, too. See, if I go here, I can get a memory state. And O is still select on this, so. All my PS1 games, Persona, all my PSP games, so. It works fine, as you can see. And you have to double tap it to go back in the main page. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this PlayStation Vita. It's a pretty good console to have. I also did order a Nintendo 3DS LL from Japan too, in the same white color. And I'll be making an unboxing of that, but that's not a new one, that's a refurbished one. I wanted to have some of refurbished consoles too, cause the new ones are really expensive. This was almost, four hundred dollars to get and i never had a vita and i think it's worth four hundred dollars once you jailbreak it get your ps4 running and everything it's pretty much perfect i just think of this as more of an accessory to the ps4 though because i think that's what it is because i mainly wanted this to come with ps4 games but i have been playing some psp vita games like uncharted right here the golden abyss and it's a pretty good game so there are a lot of good games on this just alone but I really think this is worth it in 2022 and I'll be making a video on that with the uh, jailbreak and everything. So yeah.